Hey guys, Zachy back here, back with another video. Today, I'll show you guys how I went from ninth place in regionals to first place in state science Olympiad for wheeled vehicle. This is the vehicle that I competed with in the 2023 season last year. Now, obviously it's a little damaged, but I tried my best to preserve it. Honestly, this was one of the hardest years for me because there were some issues with shipping the kit and I had to scramble to do everything I could and I knew nothing about the competition since it was my first year. Now, obviously I didn't place very well. By the way, I have a video here on my YouTube channel, but it taught me a lot of things about wheeled vehicle and what I should do next. That's going in the trash. So after learning my lesson last year, I went into the 2024 season with this for regionals. This thing does not use any kit. It's fully modeled by me on Tinkercad and I 3D printed it all here. By the way, this is my dad's garage where we spent a lot of time on 3D printing, robotics and other things. So I tried to make this thing as compact as possible, but the problem is when you make it more compact and tall, the center of gravity is much higher and the vehicle is not balanced. So that's what happened in my first run in regionals and the vehicle flipped over and somehow got back. You can see the video here, by the way. But in the second run, I put a lot less power on the rubber band so it wouldn't flip over again. So I got a good score that allowed me to go to States with my school team. And when I heard that I'm going to States, I immediately got to work on building this. And again, I learned from my past mistakes and I made the vehicle much lower and longer so the same thing wouldn't happen. And I made the vehicle be able to turn, which could give me a bonus can score. But first, let me tell you a little about the wheeled vehicle event itself. Basically, there are two points, the start and the finish. And the distance between these two points can vary from 8 meters all the way to 12 meters. And it can be anything in between. For example, 9.2 meters, 10.6 meters but it's in increments of 0.2 meters. Now, this vehicle must be built according to some parameters. For example, the size can be no larger than 20 by 70 centimeters. Now, the vehicle starts at the beginning and it has to go straight to the finish line in as fast as possible and as accurately as possible. But there is another way. By, you can try the bonus cans, which are two cans placed to the side of the track and the vehicle must go in between them to the finish line. You guys may think this is pretty easy, but you have to make the vehicle extremely accurate because even a millimeter can throw the vehicle way too far right or way too far left. And then when the vehicle reaches the end, they measure the point where the vehicle stops to the finish line. By the way, I also designed all of these pieces in the mechanism by myself and I 3D printed them all. And one more thing, you guys might think this is some random piece, but it actually plays a very important role in the vehicle. And you can see I have marks on here and on here that make the vehicle turn. And you can unscrew the nut here to make the front part of the vehicle turn. But this part is very precise. And even a one millimeter change can make the vehicle go 30 to 40 centimeters away from where it should. Okay, so let's go to University of Virginia I'll show a little to you guys about the university and how I got first place. So I just drove two hours to University of Virginia and right now it's the morning and everyone's getting ready for their events. I'm going to the impound to drop off my vehicle. You can leave it right behind. You gotta have a snack before the competition. For now, let's just walk around the university.
relaxing. Wish me luck. You nervous? Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Turn, there you go. Good luck, Nope, nope. They'll be next. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, stay. Oh, come around the chair. Okay. <laughs> So the results are completely unexpected. The The vehicle was supposed to turn in between the two cans, but on the first run, it hit the outer can, and on the second run, it hit the inner can. But at least it got very close to the point. So now I'm gonna tell you guys a little about how the car works. Basically, you wind up these two wheels first, and this is where the vehicle gets all the power. After that, you keep the wheels in place from moving with this thing. Then this is basically the ruler and it has little marks on it for dep depending on how many meters it is. So you can adjust it here. Like that. And then the braking system is the same as last time. You, this, these wheels are 40 centimeters, so depending on how many meters it is, you just divide, for example, 8 meters, so 800 centimeters divided by 40, which would be 20. So you spin the wheel 20 times, and then you launch it like this. And after 8 meters, the braking system should stop. award ceremony. For those of you that don't know me, somehow, <laughs> my name is Emily Owens and I'm the state director. And thank you so, so much, first and foremost, for being here today and for sticking around for awards. We have a packed house, um, which is awesome. So we're going to celebrate some science that you did today. Believe it or not, I got first place.